Okay, I'll admit it, I'm an absolute tree hugger and this video is all about a project that really brings out the tree hugger in me. So we recently planted over 5,000 trees on our property here in Southern Ontario, Canada. I'm Natalie Lucier from Waykeeper Farm and Nerdery and we live on a 17 acre farm here where we have horses and sheep, ducks, chickens and geese and all kinds of awesome things growing. And this property was basically pasture when we moved here and we decided that we wanted to start reforesting part of it. Now there's a lot of benefits for reforestation. So we have different biodiversity options. We have a lot more uh, windbreak. We have different fodder and different things as well. And it's also great for restoration, for water conservation, for carbon sequestration, all of these big words, but really we just love trees. So I think this is the biggest takeaway for us is how can we start to reforest the land? So luckily there are a couple of different government programs that we were able to apply for and this was definitely multiple years in the making and it finally happened we planted these 5,000 trees this spring so how this all worked is we applied and we were on a waiting list we had someone come out and see our land and see um, how beneficial it would be to reforest part of it and we're very close to Lake Erie Ontario here so for us it was really beneficial to reforest close to the lake as well to start to build back up some of the native trees so we were able to plant over seven species of native trees to the area. After filling out our application, we were approved for the project. And then all of these tree seedlings had been growing a couple of years earlier, or possibly last year. And then they were all taken out of the ground and put into cold storage. And the reason for that is that there are tons of these planting projects at the same time. So trees need to be kept dormant until they're ready to be planted out. So when it was time for our planting date, we had the amazing team at Sassafras come out with their tractor and with several people they kept all the trees cool under a tarp and they also kept them wet their at least their roots wet so that they wouldn't dry out and then they used a tractor with an attachment to go out and slowly drive across the field open up a furrow and then start to plant these tree seedlings and then after that they had someone behind walking behind to make sure each tree seedling was in the ground properly tamping them down to make sure that they were straight they had everything that they needed around them like soil and water and then they kept on moving it took three days to plant about five acres and about 5,000 trees and on our end we had to make sure that we had a strong fence so we put up an electric fence to prevent sheep and horses from coming in here and eating all the seedlings after they were planted. So it's been about two weeks since all the trees were planted and I want to come see how things are going. It looks like everything is leafing out. Most of the trees are leafing out. We haven't had a whole lot of rain so I'm really hopeful that everything survived and is going to keep doing well. Uh, what our plan to do for maintenance is to mow in between the rows at least before the fall comes so that uh, animals like bunnies for example don't feel like this is the best place to eat all of the all the trees during the winter when there's not much left so we want them to stay closer to the barn where we have hay and other things they could definitely eat but definitely not these new trees we planted now if you're curious about why we want to plant all these trees and all this restoration stuff then go ahead and check out my video all about agroforestry right here I'm gonna leave all kinds of links below for applying to this kind of program if you're curious about planting trees on your property and then also the amazing team at Sassafras that helped us do this planting. They have amazing seeds and other things you want to check out if you're in the Ontario region. Now if you're curious about why trees and all the benefits of agroforestry, go ahead and watch my Agroforestry 101 video here.